Hi, let me show you a function in ePlan that will accelerate your work on projects, especially when you have big projects like I have very often. So this is a fairly large project, it's a complex one, it's a, from a German car manufacturer, project I was working on a couple of years ago. I also have a course about that one where we, uh, it's an overview of this project over here. So if you want to learn more about that one, head over to my website and locate this project over here. ePlanTutor.com German minus automotive. Also another thing, there is a free download on my website. So for you to start with to work in ePlan, you don't have to do draw schematics from scratch. You also already have this example for me. It's a direct online motor starter, a very useful and very common circuit diagram in, in industrial applications. So you get it for free. Now let's go back to our to the topic of this video. So when you're working on large projects, there is a function that will definitely accelerate your work. And this function is called let's synchronize selection. We're gonna simulate throughout this project how to use this function efficiently. How to be efficient when working in e plan. Uh, this section over here, it's a check project section. If you're not familiar with ePlan and you're a beginner, you can always check my courses on the website. There is a currently a special offer. This one in the course bundles, you get all of my five ePlan courses for 50 bucks. And we also learn about the check project functionality in ePlan. So check project section. And let's say this one as an example. So you have the option to go to graphic to locate this error or you could simply double click on the message and it will take you to the problem. In this case color number assigned twice for same shields and indexes. This synchronized selection function could now be handy over here in the navigators. Generally in this case it's the prob it's a problem with the cable. The best option is to open a devices navigator and then whenever you synchronize a certain selection, you select something and then go to synchronize. If you open a devices navigator, it's a navigator with, with all the elements you have inside your project. You could also open for in this case, as I said in this example in this message cables navigator but in that case you are limiting yourself to only the cables when you synchronize this selection that's why device navigator is the best option but as i said you could always use those designated navigators for cables terminals for everything else for plc for example so let's see what's the problem with this one we're going to synchronize the selection over here inside the check project and go to synchronize. So the first thing it does, let's try this once again, we'll go to the, some other page and then let's synchronize one more time. It's going to synchronize over here in the navigator and then also go to graphic. So we locate it with the function go to graphic or double click, located the problem in the circuit diagram 
but now since it is a cable it can be represented more than once and ePlane is going to point you to the main function so in this case this representation over here is a main function and this one is another which is not a main function so this could also be a problematic that's why synchronize selection comes handy where you when you synchronize this cable with the navigator it shows up in the navigator especially when you have a device text like this for cables so a bunch of letters and signs numbers and you clearly see the problem over here so you have two times the same wire number so now we could just we could correct this and say this is going to be wire 4 and you can see over here that it's now finished it's now okay just as a side note if you have a lot of messages to solve, like I have over here, in this case I have almost 4000, most of them are related to translation. You don't have to go to check project and then check the whole project once again. If it's a big project, it, it will take you every time when you solve a certain message, it will take you a couple of minutes to check once again the whole project. So in this case, you say this one is completed, you completed, you uh, corrected the, the, the situation, then you go to click anywhere you want and say check only completed messages. So it seems like we don't have this message anymore as a problem, but another thing you should be careful over here is to go to the end of this section, scroll down to the bottom, in some instances it can happen that you don't see the message over there where it was but ePlan throws the message to the end of this section so be careful with that so the first thing check only completed messages and then make sure you go to the end of this list and see over here if it's really not there anymore just something that you learn when you work on projects in ePlan. So let's take another example in this case. As I said, if you only open a cables navigator and we have a couple of problems over here with the addresses for a certain module. Now let's go to graphic and let's also synchronize a selection. So it, it's not going to be possible for ePlan to synchronize with the navigator since this particular problem is not related to cables. So as I said you can always use a devices navigator but for PLC circuit diagrams I recommend to have the PLC navigator opened. Let's do that for one time and synchronize. So it's synchronized this particular message. So we now see over here if we have a problem. Address has been assigned more than once within, within a CPU. So in this case we would need to update the addresses so that we don't have a duplicates and it should be fine. As I said, synchronize selection and also when you're checking your project, check only completed messages. Those functions are gonna definitely help you to work faster in ePlan. And also, as I said already, don't forget to grab your free download from my website. Check out this course bundle for 50 bucks. It's about eight or nine hours of video content about ePlan from real life and of course all the other courses I host on my website. I have around 20 of them. So ePlan Electric P8, ePlan Pro Panel, Simari Design, Devices and Circuits, real life projects, 
or reviews of those projects and so on. I hope you like this video and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye!